So the workouts that I generally do when I'm on rollers are obviously focused sort of on technique and um, how, like how well you're pedaling. When I first started riding rollers, I was a mountain biker, and mountain bikers, um, they, they, they do develop really good pedal strokes because you have to kind of feel the, the, the ground when you're maintaining your traction, but they can kind of ride like, like this, kind of like really bouncy. And um, when you're on rollers, you need to like keep your upper body really quiet and not grip the bars because that uh, will make you kind of pull the bike from side to side. So have your really quiet upper body, like even sort of staying on the top with the bars and kind of keeping your upper body quiet is a good start. Um, and yeah, so then you just want to get started and get used to and comfortable kind of being on your bike. You probably have to focus. When you first started, I've ridden the rollers for a long time, and I still have to focus on not riding off the side. <laughs> but um, once you kind of have got comfortable, there's two main drills that I do when I'm on the rollers. So first I'll kind of get rolling, and then what I'll do is I'll basically do a cadence pyramid where I start with about 100 RPM, and I basically ramp that up to about 130, and then back down. And I kind of know that I'm getting more and more efficient as I bounce less at the higher cadences. So you'll just start and basically roll and do a minute sort of at each cadence. The second workout that I do is I tend to go more into a, like, and when I'm riding the cadence pyramid, I'm not doing it to kind of get strong or fit. It's more about pedaling well. And so I, I basically don't ride with very much resistance at all. Um, and then when I move into the second drill, I'll kind of choose something a bit, like a little bit more um, sort of tension on the chain. And I'll do one-legged drills where it's more of a kind of like climbing up a hill in a with a little bit of resistance. So not the hardest hill in the world, but something hard. Er. And then I'll just clip on one foot and kind of try to stay as smooth as I can at a low cadence with one leg. And I'll do this drill for probably two minutes a leg, and then I'll clip in, ride for about 30 seconds, and it's kind of a bit more, when you're riding with two legs, it's a lot easier. So, get 30 seconds, I'll bring the cans back up to about 100, and then I'll flip out and go on to the other way. And again, I'll do that for about anywhere from 60 seconds to two minutes per leg. So that's my workout of the day, riding rollers. It's a great tool, especially for triathlon, because even if you choose to ride at a lower cadence, uh, Having the ability to ride at a variety of cadences is good for you, and um, it also helps you to be a lot more efficient with your pedaling. I'd say you'd get a lot further in your cycling ability, working on your pedal stroke with nice round rings on rollers, than any other gadget to try and improve your pedaling efficiency. So, signing off, I'm Melanie McQuaid. Thanks for watching.